Hey there golfers and golfettes, Tom Segudo here and in this episode I figured I'd start showing y'all some great swing models because I know you're out there practicing these techniques and you'll need something to reference yourself against when you go out and practice so that way you know you're making the right types of motions. I've got a collection of models that I'm adding to the YouTube world over this week and um, just use them as you to guide your practice as you go. I think this will be a good help for you. These are similar models that I would have used as I was implementing the same system. So the first guy we got here is Charlie Hoffman, one of my favorite swings on tour, fantastic ball striker. And he does all the positions perfectly the way I would teach them. So we're looking at his setup here, nice relationship to the ball. And um, what I'll do is we'll just play through the swing first and then I'll talk about it after so you can just reference it now and then we'll talk about it later. So here we go through the entire swing. Use this exactly as a reference for you. Everybody's got a different body type, um, different body type, different limitations. So just use this as a reference. It doesn't have to be perfect but if you do these motions I can guarantee you you'll be a successful happy ball striker. Okay. Now here's why Charlie Hoffman is a fantastic reference model for the golf swing that we're going through here. Posture, beautiful relationship to the ball. Relationship to the ball is established. You can see arrow going towards the ground, so not a level posture. A lot of people like to do a level posture up here or somewhere in here. Just do the drill that I have in the class where you put the club out in front of you, bend forward. Okay, nice posture. And then another thing that's really good is the arm hang. The arm's hanging down very naturally, tension free. Tension kills, so we need to take out the tension, keep it nice and flowing. You need a little bit, but not too much tension. Just a little bit so you don't lose control of everything. Just enough control to have the club in your hands nice and secure, but not more than that. Notice the gentle forward arch in his back here. That's just natural as you'd bend forward. Nothing manufactured here. He's just standing over the ball natural. Alright, let's go through the backswing. First, first place we'll look to check as you do this, the takeaway. And we'll even draw some lines, 90 degrees to the spine, so we can reference those. The takeaway. Okay, first part, about three feet in. Club face angled down towards the ball. Shoulder is turning down underneath the yellow line or on the line. And then you're going to see this club face as we go from the takeaway into a different position. But you should strive to get to this position in the takeaway if possible. Keep the face square, don't roll the hands. Now after this point, that's where the right arm kicks in. That right arm motion we've been talking about kicks in. And you get to the top. You can see that the arm is folded and his shoulders are turned on the same angle as he did at address. So he hasn't changed anything there. Now how do we get to this position? Well, it's very simple. Once you have the takeaway, the trail forearm begins to fold and rotate to the top. So it folds up first, then it rotates to the top to get to that position. Okay? Gets your body you get your tricep nicely connected against your side. That's how we get to that perfect position. Hands are behind the right shoulder. And the hips, they're still ang angled downward and he's turned them just slightly. You can see the pivoting of the legs and a little bit of space between those legs. 
All right, now here we go. Is the downswing. The lower bot, the lower half, starts the downswing, and the club is falling. He's not going steep with it. It's a short iron, so keep that in mind. If it's a short iron, it appears to be a little steeper. It's just because the club is more upright in the setup here. Let's draw some lines just to... He's going to take that club down on the same line he started back. Moving that weight laterally toward the target and rotating his hips only later in the downswing. So lateral first to here and then the rotation happens into impact. Turn through the shot and the follow through is a big key here. Look at the low finish. The arms are almost on the shoulder line. That's something I would challenge you to get to that position because if we, we tend to overswing nowadays and overuse the body, and if you can use the body um, more efficiently, you won't have to do a wraparound finish. So if, when you're doing this swing, you'll find that you're not using nearly as much effort, which is good, effortless power, and you don't need to go wrap around. You can finish like this and hit the ball just as far. Unless you really want to go for a pretty finish, you don't need to do that. It's not quite necessary. But this is Charlie Hoffman and a fantastic model for the swing and just some positions that I think are really good for you, get, you to get into as you work through this. So just to re recap, nice posture, shoulder works down on the takeaway, takeaway club face is square. Shoulder continues to work down, and the the, lead, the trail forearm folds to the top. So that's that right forearm move that we've been talking about. Lower half starts the downswing. Weight moves left, and then he starts rotating into impact. And he continues through to a short, efficient finish. All right. So keep up the great work on your golf swings, and I will look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Have an awesome week.